Hey everyone, welcome back to the Droid Scripter. In today's video, we're going to build an auto-complete text field in Jetpack Compose. This feature is super useful for search bars, dropdowns, and user input suggestions. By the end of this video, you'll know how to implement it easily in your Android app. So, let's jump right in. Now, let's create the autocomplete text field function. This will handle user input and display suggestions dynamically. This function takes to parameters, a modifier for layout customization and an item's list containing all possible suggestion. This means we can reuse this function anywhere in our app while passing different lists of suggestions. Next, we need to store the user's input and dynamically update the suggestion list. For that, we use to state variables. Here's what's happening. Text find value holds the text entered by the user. Suggestions holds the filtered results that match the input. Both are wrapped in Remember, which ensures that they persist during recomposition. Now, let's structure the layout using a column. This allows us to stack elements vertically. Now, let's create the actual text field where users will type. The value is set to text filed value, making it a controlled input. On value change updates the text as the user type. Here we set up the filtering logic. If input isn't empty, we filter the list to match the user's text. Otherwise, we clear the suggestions when input is empty. We also set a placeholder and make it a single line input. Finally, we display matching suggestions using a lazy column.
Each suggestion is a text item with clickable, so when tapped, it updates the text field. It hides the suggestions by setting suggestions equals empty list. This ensures a smooth user experience. Inside on Create, we define a scaffold layout with a top bar and our autocomplete text field component. A scaffold is a high-level layout that provides slots for common UI elements like a top bar, bottom bar, and floating action buttons. In our case, we're using it to create a structured layout for our autocomplete text field. The top bar is built using a box, which allows us to place the title at the center of the screen. Now, in the content slot, we include our autocomplete text build. Padding values comes from the scaffold, ensuring proper spacing from UI elements like the top bar. Here, we define a list of suggestions with some fruit names and pass them to our auto-complete text field component. We call our autocomplete text field and pass the suggestions list to it. The modifier equals modifier dot padding padding values ensures that our text field doesn't overlap with the top bar. And items equal suggestions supplies the list of words that will be filtered based on user input. And that's it, we've successfully built an auto-complete text field in Jetpack Compose. Now, users can start typing, see relevant suggestions, and select an option easily. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Jetpack Compose tutorials. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.